Health Watch is presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. Here, caring for you. Welcome to Health Watch, presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. I'm Brittany Schaefer, and I'm joined by Barbara Olenski, and we're here today to talk about the microbiome and weight loss. So my first question for you is, what is a microbiome? The microbiome is Oh, this is a wonderful thing that we're doing in research, but it's also become integrated into clinical care now. And we find that it's one of the missing pieces that helps to explain metabolism, disease, allergies, immune system. It's correlated with just about everything you can think of. It's the good bacteria and the bad bacteria that live on us, within us. How does understanding one's microbiome play into the ability or inability to lose weight? When someone has more adverse bacteria than beneficial bacteria, the adverse bacteria tend to produce substances that are irritating. And these can break through um, and go into systemic circulation. This has an interaction with metabolism. Which foods are good for my microbiome? Fermented foods. Fermented foods being foods such as plain yogurt, plain kefir, and there's a reason by the, behind the plain. Other foods like um, sauerkraut or fermented vegetables or beets. 